We continue here at DTW24 in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we are so excited. We are meeting again with Bradley Men. We were, we were there in Barcelona together, and we discussed a lot about AI intent-based operation from Mike Ericsson. So, Brad, Bradley, how are you today? A good, thanks, uh, Harold. It's great to see you again, and it's great to see so many people here in Copenhagen at the TM Forum event. It's uh, there's a lot of buzz uh, here already. I I totally agree. I mean, the, the a lot of people. I think it's a it's a, it's a great event. Uh, we are growing a lot with, in terms of audience, and we are excited also about everything that we are going to be learning from the best and the bright and the brightness. So, thank you, thank you again for for being here, and. Just to recap, can you tell us a brief intro about intense AI intent-based operation? Yeah, as you recall, uh, when we spoke in uh, Barcelona, we were launching as part of the Ericsson Operations Engine uh, the next evolution, which is AI intent-based uh, operations, which which takes us to the next level, uh, where we're using machine reasoning to actually simplify the operations of the network because we know things are getting more complex particularly with 5G slicing but also raising the bar on the performance as well and be able to deliver premium services at high quality now when we talk about intent that's what we're that's what we mean the service levels or the intent behind the service level for premium slices or differentiated services that our CSP operators in the future are going to sell to their to their customers. Mm -hmm. And what uh, what AI intent-based operations does is it helps us make the shift and simplify the the service assurance of, of these of these networks that are getting more complex and shifting from uh, operations uh, people mm -hmm. uh, managing the the networks supported by technology to technology taking a greater part in the operations and the management of the network supported by human beings. That, that's amazing because at the beginning we were talking about technology assisting humans. Now we're moving more like humans assisted by technology. Is that what we can talk about when we, well, we, we can say about when we say when we talk about autonomous networks? Yeah, no, look, ab absolutely, and I think um, yeah, th this is still a journey, and I think it's important that everybody remembers that we're the, at the beginning of this journey, uh, but we're, as an industry, I think we're accelerating fast uh, along this, this path, which is uh, exciting. It's also important to remember there's two parts to this. There's the autonomous networks where AI and digital capabilities over time are gonna, is going to get more and more embedded in the network technology, which is a good thing. And then there's the autonomous operations and, and the capabilities that sit more end-to-end -end that support the service assurance of the autonomous networks. Mm -hmm. And those things have to work together. And over time, things will shift um, and evolve between those two components, I think. That's great. And how is Ericsson um, helping the communication service providers in this whole journey, in this transformation? Yeah, look, I think that's important. Everything we do is in our, in, in not just our technology that we provide to our customers, CSPs, but in our managed service business, is designed to, to help our customers be successful. At the end of the day, that's what, that's what matters. That we, from an industry perspective, we need our customers to be successful, which means the whole ecosystem is, you know, for, for all of us in the industry is going to be successful. So that's at the essence of everything we do, being able to support our customers in managing their networks in the most effective and efficient way so they can be successful and, and take full advantage of, of the capabilities uh, that's that, that's available today and will be available in the future in, uh, in the network technology. And so that's an important thing to, for everybody to remember. It's about making 
if our customers, the CSPs aren't successful, the industry is going to be challenged. So if we work together you know, for that end goal, which means CSPs being successful, together we will be successful and the industry will prosper. So it's a partnership with the client, with the customer. Absolutely, I think that's, uh, that's an important thing for everybody to remember, right? And, yeah. and we need to innovate together. And that's the exciting thing. You know, we've, been, we've been trialing this uh, AI intent-based operations with one of our important customers, DNB in Malaysia. Uh, and we talked about that at MWC and we're talking about it uh, here at, at DTW. And uh, you know, the journey is progressing. Uh, very well with, with DMB and we're also now working with uh, a few of our other managed service customers to, to, to go on the similar journey and I think the more we do this and the more we learn together I think it's going to you know, help spark more innovation hopefully in, in the industry and, and speed up the, the transformation because at the end of the day I think that's really really important. So it's about collaborating, it's about co-creating it's about working to, I mean, together to, to, for this goal, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, Bradley, thank you very much for your time. I know that you're going to be busy with many uh, customers, right? Yes. Here. Uh, so looking forward to learn more in, and to reconnect with you in the near future. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much. And it's always a pleasure to, to speak with you, uh, uh, Harold. So thank you very much for your time. Likewise. Likewise. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.